In this video we're going to look at how to find the normal to a function at a given point. If you haven't already watched videos on or know how to do basic differentiation and working out equations of tangents, I'd, I'd get back to those first. Um, so here's the curve we're looking at, y equals 7 minus x squared, and I've kind of drawn a sketch of the curve uh, here roughly, and I want to find the normal at the point with x coordinate minus 3. So here's minus 3, here I've just marked the point where those curves in intersect, and this line here uh, is the tangent to the curve at the at that point. And the normal is a word that means a line perpendicular to the tangent that goes through that point. Okay, so if that's the tangent, if I make a right angle here, 90 degrees, then this line here is the normal. And that's what it means. So um, let's go and work out its uh, equation then. So firstly, uh, if we differentiate the function, we get dy by dx, and here the 7 differentiates to 0, and minus x squared just becomes minus 2x when we differentiate it, and at x equals minus 3, dy by dx is minus 2 times minus 3, that's plus 6. So that's the um, that's the equi that's, sorry, that's the gradient of the tangent. If I was working at the equation of the tangent, what I would do now is say, okay, the tangent is going to have the form, you know, y equals 6x plus some constant, and then we could carry on as we did before. The normal is perpendicular to the uh, to the tangent, so the ta if the tangent has gradient 6, the normal has gradient, uh, which is the negative reciprocal of that. You know that a um, uh, line which is perpendicular to another line, the gradient you do the negative reciprocal. So the normal gradient is minus one sixth. Okay, so the normal is a straight line, which is of the form y equals minus one sixth x plus some constant. Okay. Um, so so we've got that y equals minus one sixth x plus c, and we just need to work out c. As we did with the tangent, well, we know a point on the line because this point here that we've marked is on it's on the tangent, it's on the normal, and it's on the curve. So if I put in minus 3 into here uh, for x, I'll get 7 minus minus 3 squared, being careful with the negatives here, but it's 7 minus minus 3 squared, so that's 7 minus 9, that's minus 2. So this point has coordinates, well, x is minus 3 and y is minus 2. So when I substitute those values in here, that must make this uh, work. So minus 2 is minus 1 sixth times minus 3 plus c. Um, so minus a sixth times minus 3, that's plus 1 half. So we've got minus 2 is 1 half plus c. So c is minus 2 minus a half. So c is minus 2 and a half or minus 5 over 2. So the equation of the normal that we're looking for then, we've got it, it was minus 1 sixth x and the plus c is minus 5 over 2. So our final answer here is y equals minus 1 sixth x minus 5 over 2. Of course, if I was doing this on paper, I would continue working down the page, but uh, here is my answer. y equals minus 1 sixth x minus 5 over 2. Again, you might tidy this up a bit by multiplying it all through by by 6, say, so you get 6y equals minus x minus 15 or something like that. If you don't want fractions in there, that's just as good an answer as well. Um, or just leave it like this in the form y equals mx plus c. It's worth noticing, I suppose, as well, that's reasonable on our sketch. It looks like this is going to have quite a shallow, if my original sketch was reasonably accurate, it's going to have quite a shallow negative gradient, and it goes through the x-axis at some, uh, through the y-axis at some negative value, so looks good. Right, let's do another one. As you know, I always like to make them slightly harder with fractions and things. That's what will make you really stand out and be uh, excellent at, at these problems. So we'll just follow all of the steps here. I've got y equals three, x cubed plus 7x. So we start by working out dy by dx, and that's 3x squared plus 7. And uh, at the point we're looking at, it's got x coordinate 3 over 2. So at x equals 3 over 2, we're going to have dy by dx 
equals 3 times 3 over 2 squared plus 7 and that's 3 times 9 over 4 plus 7 so this is 27 over 4 plus 7 so that's 27 over 4 plus 28 over 4 which is 55 over 4 so that would be the gradient of the tangent uh, at that point. hope you're okay with this without the graph being drawn. Of course, usually we don't draw out the graph every time, but we're thinking through the steps. That would be the gradient of the tangent at that point. So the gradient of the, the normal, uh, well, normal is going to be a, f a line y equals mx plus c, and the m in this mx plus c is the negative reciprocal of this, which would be the gradient of the tangent. So it's minus 4 over 55. Okay, so so the normal is y equals minus 4 over 55 x plus c. And now we just have to use the fact that we know one point on this curve, which is the one where x with x coordinate 3 over 2, so we work out its y coordinate from uh, from this formula, from this here, so we'll have uh, y equals 3 over 2 cubed plus 7 times 3 over 2 so this is 27 over 8 plus 21 over 2 and 21 over 2 is uh, 84 over 8 so 84 plus 27 is 111 over 8 so I've made life difficult for myself by choosing some uh, awkward fractions here but it's good to know that the uh, process works in exactly the, exactly the same way. So I've now got this point, uh, you know, where the normal intersects the curve, which has coordinates x equals three over two, and y is one hundred and eleven over eight. So these two, these coordinates must satisfy the formula for the normal. So I have uh, y is one hundred and eleven over eight. That's equal to minus four fifty fifths times 3 over 2 plus c so I've just got to combine these fractions here so this is minus well let's cancel let's cancel the 4 with the 2 here and so that's 2 so this is minus 6 55th I need to add that to both sides so c is 111 over 8 plus 6 55ths and we'll just need to uh, combine these into a a single fraction by putting them over a common denominator and here that gives 6153 divided by 440 um, I did use the calculator there in the background now uh, so this is um, obviously a bit more uh, complicated than you would usually get in a non-calculator example, it wouldn't give you anything this mean but they might ask you to do some things with fractions and to be able to apply this sort of argument and you should be able to do this if you were really called upon to do it um, Anyway, the answer here then is y equals minus 4 over 55x plus 6153 over 440. Usually examiners are a bit kinder than to give you an example that's that complicated, but in principle, nothing different. Okay, so that's how to find the normal uh, to a curve. Very similar to finding the tangent to the curve, it's just at that key point where we're looking for the gradient of the straight line we take the negative reciprocal before we carry on everything else exactly the same.